Lesson number five, protein synthesis. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe the second stage of protein synthesis. The second stage of protein synthesis takes place at the ribosome. Here, the mRNA code is red and a chain of amino acids is joined together to form a protein. This stage is called translation because it translates the sequence of bases of the mRNA into the order of amino acids in the chain. Once the strand of mRNA attaches to a ribosome, the code is read by a second sort of RNA called transfer RNA or tRNA. The job of tRNA is to carry amino acids to the ribosome and link up with the mRNA. There is a specific tRNA molecule for each of the 20 different amino acids that make up proteins. At one end of the tRNA is an exposed triplet of bases, which can pair up with a particular triplet on the mRNA. At the other end of the tRNA is a place where the amino acid attaches. The triplet of bases on the tRNA matches a triplet on the mRNA following the base pairing rules. The first amino acid is now held in a fixed place by the tRNA ready to start a chain. Another tRNA molecule then brings along a second amino acid. This tRNA has a triplet of bases matching the next triplet on the mRNA. These bases again pair up with the bases on the mRNA. A chemical bond now forms between the first amino acid and the second one. A third tRNA now arrives, carrying another amino acid, and this tRNA links to the mRNA as before. The third amino acid is added to the growing chain. Meanwhile, the first tRNA goes off to collect a new amino acid, leaving its first one behind in the chain. The tRNA molecule operates a sort of shuttle service, bringing amino acids to the ribosome and staggering them together according to the code on the mRNA. Eventually, a long chain of tens of hundreds of amino acids is made. This is called a polypeptide. A protein is not just a long chain of amino acids. The polypeptide has to be folded into a particular shape to form the protein's working structure. For example, in the hormone insulin, the polypeptide chain is folded into a complicated shape like a ball of string. This is why it is called a globular protein.